Hi, Otto here for Bavarian Autosport. In this series of videos, we're going to be performing fluid changes in the various undercar gearboxes. This includes the manual transmission, the rear differential, the front differential on four-wheel drive models, the four-wheel drive transfer case, the transaxle assembly used on the front-wheel drive minis, and we'll do an undercar oil change for both vehicles with and without dipsticks. Now we'll be using these various tools and fluids throughout this series and we'll get more detail on that shortly. In this video we'll be changing the fluid on a front differential on a four-wheel drive BMW. We have our various differential fluids here from Redline and Liquimali. We have our tools for removing and installing the drain and fill plugs. We have our magnetic drain plug replacement, which will replace the stock non-magnetic plug. And we have various tools for fluid transfer. Now most of the front differentials will have a drain plug, so the fluid removal is no problem. However, if there is no uh, drain plug, we have to remove the fluid through the fill plug. We'll use this tool here with either the one and a half liter fluid transfer pump or the vacuum oil change tool to remove the fluid through the fill plug. Now when refilling, we'll use one of these fluid transfer tools, our basic half liter fluid transfer pump, our premium one and a half liter, which also has a check valve in the hose and a metal nipple on the end for attachments such as this fill hole adapter. What we really like to use is this power fill. We put our fluid in the canister, pump it up to 15 or 20 foot-pounds of pressure, and then this tube goes in the fill hole. We've got an on-off valve. We simply turn the valve on and fill till full, turn it off, and we're all set. This is very easy to use. Now all of this is available in our online store at bavauto.com. With that, let's go ahead and get to work. In order to access the front differential on four-wheel drive BMWs, a lower splash shield or reinforcement tray may need to be removed. We'll remove this reinforcement tray to access the differential. Once the shield or tray is removed, we can locate the differential drain and fill plugs. To remove the plugs, we can use the special short drain plug Allen bit set and a ratchet. This set has 10, 14, and 17 millimeter bits. Most front differential drain and fill plugs use the 14 millimeter bit. We can also use the special drain plug wrench. The wrench has a 14 millimeter Allen bit on one end and a 17 millimeter box on the other. The 14 millimeter Allen end is excellent for close quarters. We suggest that you always loosen the fill plug before removing the drain plug. This will prevent the inconvenient circumstance of draining the fluid and then finding the fill plug is seized and will not come out. Loosen the drain plug and then position the drain pan below the drain plug. Remove the plugs from the drain pan catch basin. Unscrew and remove the drain plug. Once the fluid is drained, install the drain plug. We highly recommend replacing the stock drain plug with the Dimple Neodymium Stainless Steel Magnetic Drain Plug. These super duty magnetic plugs will capture and hold the minute wear particles so they don't circulate through the gears and bearings. The new drain plug uses an external hex instead of the 14 millimeter socket. We'll use a box end wrench to tighten the drain plug. And now we'll remove the fill plug.
Make sure the valve on the Power Refill Pro filler tube is closed. Pump the unit to about 20 PSI using the hand pump or the Schrader valve. Insert the filler tube into the fill hole. Open the valve to begin filling. Fill until fresh fluid overruns and begins flowing from the fill hole. Close the flow valve and remove the filler tube. Install the fill plug using a fresh seal ring and tighten the plug. Clean up the excess fluid and reinstall any shields and we're done here. All of the parts and tools you've seen in this video are available in our online store at bavauto.com or you can call our advisors at 800-535-2002. Be sure to watch all of the videos in this undercar fluid change DIY series. You can view them on our YouTube channel. Please, if you like what you've seen, hit your like button and send us some comments as well. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Now with that, we thank you for watching and we're off to create another video.